If you're one of the 97 percenters who drives a car every day for work, play, or family, well, get ready. The ruling class of politicians currently here in San Diego have devised a new way to take more of your hard-earned money. Well, basically, Sandag is coming up with another new regional transportation plan that basically throws the old one out that we're still paying taxes for, and we'll continue to pay for it until 2048. But now they've got this new plan, and they and they got to pay for it somehow. $163 billion transportation plan between now and 2050, and they, they need to wait, find out ways to do it. Never mind that California already has the highest gas taxes in America with some of the worst roads, or that we already have a dedicated transportation sales tax called Transnet here in San Diego County. The politicians who run Sandag are hoping to tax you for every mile you drive. First of all, what they want to do is put a per mileage tax. So anytime you drive in San Diego County on a road, you're going to be tracked somehow and taxed for the amount of mileage that you, you drive. But wait, there is more. Along with tracking and taxing, they also want to add another sales tax to every single thing you buy here in San Diego. Another attempt at political social engineering to force the people out of their cars and onto those buses. What they're trying to do is change people's behavior with more taxes to get you into transit. Currently, San Diego County, 3.5% of the people ride transit right now. Even if they tripled that, or multiply it times five, there's still 85 to 90% of the people are still going to be in cars. And for those 97 to 98% who currently drive cars every day, this is a concept that is not being met with great enthusiasm, to say the least. I think it is a horrible idea. I think it is a, a regressive tax. It will hurt the working man much more than the middle class and upper classes. I think it's a disgusting idea. I don't agree because as it is, the gas is already high. They're already taxing us for everything else. And I'm sure they mean well, but it's a burden for, for drivers like me who drive almost every day. Get, get to pay the tax for the gas and then another tax for the mileage. So that's a, it's not fair for us. I think taxing miles, uh, two cents per mile would be kind of ridiculous already that we pay California tax on our gas and we have the highest average in the country. Um, I think overall, we could just use those funds to subsidize transportation for everyone. So if you're concerned about the mileage tax, contact your member of Sandag. They will be voting on that. As for the sales tax, that could be on the ballot, and it will likely get there by union members who would be collecting signatures to qualify. So they're promising the unions all the jobs. The unions are trying to pass the tax. The union the leaders are going to be, you know, get get reap all the benefit, and then the politicians who are paid off by the unions are going to win as well. This is not a win for San Diego County residents or for the people who use the roads and freeways and transit today.